I'm here from Niche Advice. If you have been offered a voluntary right to buy, so that's with the Housing Association, watch this. So basically, um, uh, we're getting a lot more calls for people that are looking to do a right to buy, but not in the traditional sense of right to buy, but looking to buy from the housing associations. So the voluntary right to buy scheme. Um, it's a little bit different um, and, and I'll, I'll explain why and, and how it works. And sometimes it works for clients, sometimes it doesn't work for clients. So in your traditional right to buy scheme, you know, the letter that you're buying off the council and the discount is quite big. You know, the discount could be up to £110,000 off a price, depending on regions, you know, £60,000, £70,000. So substantial discounts are given by the councils to those people. Now, with the new uh, right to buys, which is to do with housing associations, things are a little bit different. First of all, I'll, I'll tell you, I'll tell you some of the problems that I've come across. Okay, one, the discounts are not that big. Okay, so they're, often they're like ten thousand pounds, fifteen thousand pounds. So they're not huge. Okay. Now, obviously, the people that are buying, that's their home. They've been living there for a long while. They've been given this opportunity, but it's not like getting a hundred thousand pounds. So don't get yourself, don't get yourself set on buying that property. Okay. Because to be honest with you, if you've got the affordability, you can look elsewhere in this market and try to get better deals. Okay. 10 to 15,000 pounds in the bigger scheme of things is not a huge amount. Okay. So just don't tie yourself in. So sometimes, when you look at things, you think, well, the discount's not enough to make that work, okay? Sometimes it does. It really depends on the value of the property. Secondly, so you can use that discount as the deposit. So you don't need the deposit, okay? Uh, obviously, if it's better from a loan-to-value perspective if you can um, give give more deposit in there. Remember, when the, with a the normal right to buy, because the, the discount is so big, it gives you a much better rate because the loan to value drops all of a sudden from, I don't know, 100% to 70%, 60% sometimes, because you know, you're dumping 100,000 pounds in there. Um, so the products are not as competitive in my experience. And the lender choice, there's not that many lenders that are actually doing these type of deals right now. So a lot of lenders will do the normal right to the buys, but these type of deals with the housing association, not many lenders will do them. Okay, so your choices are limited. We've still got choices out there. What I found is your choices are greatly um, reduced if you've had credit problems. With the traditional right to buy, there are some lenders that will do uh, right to buys with credit problems. With the housing association right to buys, their choice is very, very limited. So there's not that many of them out there. So if you've had credit problems, you're gonna struggle a little bit and we'll have to, you'll have to disclose that to us and we'll have to try to work out what it is. Um, also, what I've come across when I'm looking at these type of um, deals is housing associations are not councils. So there's there's conditions that are, you know, some conditions are not acceptable to the lenders. So the housing association have said, you know, if you sell the property, we want X amount back or if we want first refusal to buy it. There's all sorts of conditions involved um, which make things a little bit tricky when you're trying to find the lender. So it's vital you read that contract or that document, that discount, okay? Because it does um, it does have some unusual conditions within that. Um, obviously the property types are a little bit better. When you're dealing with right to buy, it could be anything from a standard house to a tower block, okay? The housing association stuff are generally a newer property, so they've been built in a, a newer, and they're generally in better conditions. So the problems that you normally have with a traditional right to buy generally uh, don't occur when you're dealing with the housing association stuff. So it's vital you guys review it, you look at similar properties without the discount in your area, and then you think, well, does it make sense? Does it really make sense for me to buy this property? Um, uh, is the discount big enough for me to take the leap and, and buy? If you do, uh, if the answer is yes, then we are here, we are experts in right to buys. We've got lots of videos about right to buys and content, and we've dealt with hundreds, if not, I wouldn't say thousands, but probably hundreds and hundreds of applicants 
um, with right to buy mortgages. We've got a, a large panel of around about 32 to 34 lenders that deal with right to buys. So it's quite extensive. But like I said, there are different, there, there are big differences between the normal traditional right to buy scheme and the housing association right to buy scheme. I hope you found this useful. Please do like and subscribe and leave any comments if you've got any questions about the topic. Thank you so much and stay safe. Thanks.